why we're doing this project. Uh, you know, most of the high schools in California, all across the nation, are struggling with the same problem we are. The field every year, probably halfway through the football season, after the first big rain, gets torn up. Uh, many of you have probably seen our field, and after the football season, the rains really start. Our soccer team comes in, and they play in a mud bowl, and it's it's a dangerous situation. And then within uh, a week or so after the soccer season, we shut it down for probably six months, trying to get this thing reseeded and ready to go again for the season. So um, this is why we're pursuing the project. Um, where we are today on the project, we have uh, assimilated a team of design consultants and put together a set of plans. We have civil engineers, surveyors, soils engineers who've all come together, put together plans that have gone to the district, been reviewed, plan checked, comments back and forth, and we're now at a point where we have a reviewed set of plans ready to build. So we have a, a budget, uh, about $850,000 that we need for this project, and um, we're well on our way towards that. We have about half of it raised right now. The cost to maintain a natural grass field is really high. Every year, the amount of water you put on it, the amount of fertilizer, the mowing, the reseeding, and then you still only get to use it half the year. We shut this thing down. You can see we now have it roped off. It's probably looking as good as it's looked in years right now, but that's because of the efforts of some of the local parents that have taken on to try and get this thing playable. But our goal is to, uh, this summer, come in and pull out all the grass and put in a synthetic turf field and we hope to be playing football on it uh, in, the, in, the, in the fall. Excited about uh, what is going to take place here in the fall. Uh, what we have been looking for as it relates to soccer, soccer kids and youth in general is uh, an opportunity to create places where kids can play. And uh, what we do know about this town is we're not going to have any more land available to be used. We have to take what we have, and most of it is on school district property, and improve that. And uh, we hope that this is the first of several other projects that come down the line in this town, uh, which would allow us to improve the ability of kids to play. Uh, when we got approached uh, about this project, uh, in terms of the soccer kids and soccer kids in this town, uh, the most important thing that struck me was the fact that as you drive down the 101 on any Saturday and Sunday, uh, Oaks Christian is just on your left-hand side, you keep driving. Uh, when the high schools are not playing, the communities are using those fields. Uh, a lot of it has to be with uh, soccer, especially on Saturdays and Sundays. And so there's a good partnership there for us. But the reality is that when you have a field in which you're using it all week long, and then you use it for games on Saturday and Sundays, uh, at some point, and it's usually pretty fast, that field becomes unplayable. And then there's a large investment needed to bring that field back. And so that is the answer what we're trying to raise right now. Uh, it's a solution which uh, will help a lot of people. And I also want to point out that, you know, having coached Little League Baseball right now, go to any of these schools right now, everyone is struggling for space. And the more we're able to remove somebody off of Hollister School and they can come play here, the more we're able to move somebody off of even Ealings Park and move them here or somewhere else, that creates opportunities for all the groups in town to have a better place to play. Uh, there's, there's not a whole lot that the school district can do for us in this project, so this is a community project. Uh, with that being said, we have uh, a, what we're really celebrating today is, is uh, the fact that uh, Cal South, um, which is a great organization, um, which has a is the largest youth organization registered players in the entire country um, and it happens to be in our area and uh, we approach them about helping us with this project uh, to introduce Cal South for us will be the president of the Santa Barbara Soccer Club Dave O'Dell thank you very much the district is actually going to save money once this is installed so there's a lot of good things happening as a result of this project and um, and like Tim said we're, we're here to really thank Cal South for their generosity and and Shirley Ramirez is here, and she is from Cal South uh, Field Development Foundation, and uh, she is representing uh, their amazing gift to this project. Shirley. We have this um, check, the Cal South Field Development Foundation. would like to present this check for the Field of Champions project, and we would like to um, give this check to you. Thank you. Congratulations.
Good afternoon. I'm Shirley Ramirez. I'm the Foundation Development Director for Cal South Field Development Foundation. The Cal South Field Development Foundation is excited to be able to contribute to such a project as Field of Champions for the Santa Barbara Soccer Club and San Marcos High School. We want to thank our major funding partner, Cal South Corporation, for providing us the means to be able to assist in projects such as these. The Cal South Field Development Foundation was established in 1999 with a passion for growing the game of soccer within Southern California, one program, player, and field at a time. Um, really are excited to see what this field looks like and we're excited to be a part of, part of this program. And the check amount was for $75,000. Thank you very much. Got a little history going here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great grandpa's field. We have a very ambitious goal to try to build this field this summer, which would be the best time for us not to disrupt the school's academic and athletic programs. But we need a lot of financial support to reach this goal. We hope we will continue to receive major gifts from generous members of Santa Barbara community. And we, we can accept your donations today on our website, thefieldofchampions.com, where you can make an online donation or you can see where you can mail a check. And it's a great place to watch our progress. So we ask you all to visit our website. Um, you can tell a lot about a community by how it treats its children. And we know we'll all be proud of hosting future premier events on our new community field. Thank you very much to everybody in Santa Barbara who supported us and please continue to support our efforts to put in a new field. Thank you.